Here we have as build point cloud data and the curb placeholders. The curb placeholders were placed relative to the point cloud data, following the line of the curb from the data. Such placeholders for this example took a few seconds to position. Here we can observe the curb placeholders in isolation. We can now call upon the curb placement command. Curb types can be selected. Host level specified. Curb length selected, whether it be default or optional length. Vertical offset altered. After making the required selections and options, the interrogation of the curb placeholders can take place. The curb length where possible shall be populated to the specified length and the remainder being a free length. In just a few seconds, 474 curbs have been placed, to the specified requirements, relative to the curb placeholders and therefore the as build point cloud data. Here we can observe how the located curbs follow the topography. If required, individual curbs or a selection of curbs can be individually or collectively swapped for other pertinent curb types, enabling drop curbs etc. being catered for. Here is such an example of how easy it is to amend the curb style. Drop curbs can be allocated along with other types altering where necessary their vertical offset. The benefit of the placed curbs being framing, enables a myriad of manipulations to start and end. Here the drop curb example can be seen and achieved with relative ease. 